Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, JC, Everyday Thoughts. Everyone gather around should be going today. Today's topic is be with a man and find different ways to love you and appreciate you. My thing is, as men, we have to think outside of the box. I mean, nothing wrong going to the movies, nothing wrong with going out to dinner, nothing wrong with that. But you have to think outside of the box to be more creative. Like, for example, my wife and I, we recently went to a, an event that our church has set up. It was called Marriage Social. And basically what that was is that all married couples, they came, they came into the room, we talked, we diverse about issues, problems, solutions, and we just talked as a family. And I feel like that was very beneficial to my wife and I. And also too, we won a raffle at the end of the, at the end of the session. So it was really engaging to win the raffle. The raffle was a row, it was a book, a love book, and you know, only one person received it, and my wife and I, we received it, so I was very blessed and humble about the situation. But also too, you know, that's just one situation, but you have to think outside the box. I mean, what are some things that your wife really loves to do, or what are some really things that she really appreciate? And I'll go back to her love language, and that might be, you know, doing kind of chores around the house. Man, if she doesn't like to do laundries, then hey, you step up, you do laundries. Hey, you step up, you clean out the kids' room, or hey, you step up, you take the kids to school, etc. I mean, that can take a load off, and you have to realize it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be enormous, it just has to be something that worthwhile. And a lot of times as men, we don't really don't realize that. Uh, we feel like we have to go out and you know, buy all these days, go to the movie. Hey, nothing wrong with that either, but you have to be, like I said, you gotta be creative. You have to make sure that your wife or significant other feel wanted and appreciated. And for me, my wife, she likes poetry. She likes going to be zen. I mean, she likes drawing, she likes painting. So that's what we do as a, as a unit, as a couple. And, and I'm okay to be like, hey, let's do this, let's do that. I'm, I'm okay to go online, look for different events for us to go to. And the reason being is because I love my wife and I care about my wife. And also things to do with my daughter as well too. So it's very humbling, very blessing experience to go out there and do different things for my wife and my, and my daughter. So I'm just really just blessed. And I just feel like as men, we can do a lot better than just doing the, stand, the standard, which is just, you know, order a piece of, I mean, go to the movies. I mean, that's just basic, basic stuff. And I just feel like we can think outside the box. And one thing also too, like I said, we did a month prior, we went to do a cooking class and that was really helpful for me to learn different ways how to cook different types of meals. And that could be also beneficial to you as well too. If you're not really a big cooker, I mean, you know, take some classes on that and try to surprise your wife every now and then with a nice dinner, you know. The, the, the sky is the limit. The sky is endless and you have to think outside the box, especially if you're gonna be with that person long term because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's gonna get stagnant, it's gonna get complacency, it's gonna creep in and that's not what you want. You want it to be live, you want to be energetic, you want it to be uh, worthwhile. So you have to think outside the box and do different creative things. And that's the one thing I'm all about, you know, doing different things, going to different events. I mean, even just, you know, hanging out with family is just something different that I like to do. Uh, we do all kinds of things with our daughter and hey, it's a blessing. So that's all I really have to say. And like I said, be with a man who loves you differently and treats you differently and appreciate, appreciate all the value he has for you. And not just someone who's just stagnant, just saying, hey, you know, we're together. So. That's it. You know, you want someone to cherish you, endure you, and love you. But yeah, though, that's all I have to say. Until next time out, JC, everybody thoughts.